I mean, not right. to be inappropriate or anything, because you're my boss and my friend, but I would totally hit that. So would I. We can't wait to see what the heck you're going to do next. <laughs> uh, step on up here, Les. Thank you. Paul, are you OK? Uh, <laughs> Oh. 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 oh! oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on. That was the second most awkward way a man has ever grabbed my breast. God, who keeps emailing me? A penis. What? Oh my god. Oh. It's emailing me too. Whoever this is, send it to every woman in the entire government. Oh my god. He's got to be so embarrassed. I mean, that's a crazy accident. No, Andy, he did it on purpose. It's been like this for hours. Hey, Swanson! Snap out of it! Leslie, congratulate us. Look, Ron's got one just like it on his penis. Oh, yeah. Although we are all sad and deeply grossed out that the Pawnee Video Dome is turning into a porno palace, I am happy to announce that the Pawnee government will be hosting a weekly movie night here at the community center. There will be free screenings, followed by a discussion led by local film buff Dennis Lerpus. Tonight's film is The Sound of Music. And... I'm glad you're here, Dong Swanson. The local video store is about to go under. We have to save it. Oh, this is the wrong movie. We need, shut this down, please. Shut it down. Sorry, Leslie. I'm a strict libertarian, and I don't believe in Bella. This is not how it happened. What portion of this camping trip will take place outside? All of it. Pass. Can't pass. It's a mandatory work retreat. I have a question. What if we're scaling a cliff, and I start to fall? Can I grab onto your boob for support? No, Tom, don't. Her boob kills. My boob does not kill. Paul did not die. He had a heart attack, which required an octuple bypass. Besides, the Pawnee son said that my chest saved his life. Uh, there's something very disturbing about the testicles. I've always felt the same way myself. The testicles are like the ears of the genital system. They serve a very important function, but they're not that great to look at. OK. OK, listen up. Folks, we have a security situation here. As you know, when we reach a location, I will be conducting a security sweep. Also, from now on, we'll be using code names. You can address me as Eagle One. And code name, been there, done that. April is currently doing that. Donna is, it happened once in a dream. Chris, code name, if I had to pick a dude. Ben is Eagle Two. Oh, thank God. Office yoga. We do stretches at our desk or next to our desk or in a chair. Always good for you. Um, we give everyone pedometers and we have a contest. Whoever takes the most steps wins a prize. Mm -hmm. you know, anything to get their heart rate up. You know what else gets people's heart rate up? Doing it. Talking about sex with my boss. Can you excuse us for a second? Yeah. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Ah, oh, get out of the chair. Hey! What is wrong with you? Leslie, it's the workplace. You're being a little bit too feisty right now. You are being a little bit too much of an ass right now, okay? Knock it off. I can't fight this feeling anymore. You and I, we're dating. You should be so lucky. Leslie! Huh? Tom? They should fix that. Shall we kiss? Huh? No. No! Oh! Ah! Oh! oh my god, are you okay? Please be okay. Please still be able to vote. We can kiss if you want to. With tongue? Hey, no. Leslie, can you do Pert Hapley? Oh, she could do Pert Hapley. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, can you do his TV show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You may now kiss the bride. Mm. 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 It's been kind of a crazy night. 
Come back. Come back. <laughs> I'm going to say stuff about me, and you say on a scale from one to ten how interested in that thing you are. You ready? Okay. I love sunshine and fresh air and early morning walks. One. I've read five biographies of Eleanor Roosevelt. One. I work at the Parks and Recreation. One. That's what you do. One. I once kissed a girl in college. Eight. Where I graduated summa cum laude in history. One, zero, negative a billion. Don't talk about it anymore, please. It's really good to see you, Ron. You've aged horribly. You son of a bitch. It didn't take Oh long. my god! Not what is your idea. problem? Nothing's changed, has it? Changed. Who set the bed on fire? Excuse huh? me. I did, okay? Oh, is that what you want to eat? Oh, we're fine, okay, we're fine. I'm so Please. Sorry. We're fine. Oh Take my it god. easy. When you meddle in someone's personal life, it's just so rewarding. Uh, mm. oh. Oh, Leslie Nope, outfit number eight. Babe, you look super hot. You realize you've said that about all of them? Well, she has every single time, because she is super hot. Honestly, you look hot naked. We need to find a new PR director for the health department. Dennis Cooper was fired today. Why? Short answer, he went bananas. Long answer, his wife, Jan, had an affair, gave him a venereal disease, and so he put signs about her all through City Hall. I'm sure you've seen them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Jan Cooper will give you chlamydia. Brought to you by the Pawnee Health Department. Chlamydia affects nearly 100% of Jan Coopers. The Department of Health congratulates Jan Cooper, Miss Chlamydia. Jan, I love you. Please come back. I realize that I'm not blameless here. Please. I'm brought to you by the Health Department. Re-elect Jan Cooper, Mayor of Horville. Joe, I've determined that the lewd picture was sent by you because you sent it from your personal email address. Stinkmaster69 at alumni.sarahlawrencecollege.edu. Really? Sarah Lawrence? Yeah. I wanted a small college experience. You also bragged about it to many of your coworkers. There's an old sewage department saying, if you've got a nice drain pipe, there's no reason to hide it. I doubt that's a saying. Oh, wow, look at that. You shaved off part of your mustache. That's lovely. I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off from friction. Uh. Uh. Ann Perkins! Hey, did you maybe tell people that I diagnosed that guy with mumps based on his porn photo? I did. I'm so proud of you. Okay, because now I have everyone in City Hall sending me pictures of their junk asking me if they have mumps. Oh my god. Your inbox is literally filled with penises. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. Oh look! Ed Miller from Payroll. Recently, certain allegations have come to light about my inappropriate conduct. I'm here to set the record straight. I totally did all of it. Another sex scandal? This guy's unbelievable. How does he find the time? I also engaged in inappropriate texting, sexting, and text mexting, which is where you send photos of your junk from the restroom of a Chili's to go. Hmm. Ew. Does this make me a bad boy? You tell me. No, really, tell me. It gets me off when women tell me that. You know you can talk to me about anything. Well, it's, it's my birthday on Friday. Hey, happy birthday. Here's a memo with some facts about little Sebastian. I think you'll find yours particularly interesting. It's just a list of facts. Mm -hmm. Okay, mine says you have a cute butt. Hmm. That's weird. Must be a typo. Yeah, Jerry, it's probably a typo because it probably should have said you have a cube butt. Because <laughs> your butt's shaped like a cube. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, why is my memo different than everyone else's? Cube butt. Cube butt. Cube butt. Cube butt. Cube butt. Cube butt. Okay, so now you're sure that everything is okay, you know, down there. You're perfectly healthy. <laughs> that man has the largest penis I have ever seen. I actually don't even know if he has mumps. Forgot to look. I was distracted by the largest penis 
I have ever seen. 